Okay, besties, let's have ourselves a little fall night routine. We have our pumpkin drink. This is a iced brown sugar. Why did I, my brain just like stopped computing for a second. <laughs> it's been a long day, which is why I needed this. Midday pick me up. It's a venti iced brown sugar shaken espresso, oat milk, oh my God. A venti iced brown sugar oat milk shaken. They really need a shorter name for this. They could have been more creative with the name. A venti iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with less pumps. So I did four pumps and I did pumpkin cold foam, which the pumpkin cold foam fuels my soul, feeds my soul, just is pure joy. And I love it so much. So this is delicious. It's divine. Oh my God. I think I like strained my eye because it like kind of hurts and it's like a little red. Anyway, you don't care. I don't think you care. But um, if you were wondering, it's been that kind of day. But we're gonna have a nice chillaxin fall night routine. I feel like the last video I did, I don't even know if I'm gonna upload it. It was more like a self care day and my vibes were just so off. But I'm happy to announce my vibes are back today. We're feeling good. I think we needed that day to like take care of ourselves and feel better. So now we're good to go. my eyes. <laughs> My eye is hurting, but we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep it going and keep the good vibes rolling and just have a great night, really. So let's do it. I am also simultaneously filming a reading vlog for the natural series. So I'm reading the second book in the series. So stay tuned for that one. I'm using my phone's camera right now because my camera battery is charging. So if you notice like the quality is a little different, that's because my camera battery is charging. Hey guys, I'm back. My camera is all charged. So the first thing we're gonna do to kick off this night routine is I like to just make a little like to-do list for the rest of the week or even just like the next day. It just like helps me feel like I have my life together. I'm not like forgetting anything and I. Can and just have it all down on paper. So that is what I'm gonna do just like as far as school wise and then like content wise, like the content I wanna make, what I wanna edit and post and all that. So I'm just gonna make my to-do list. I just find that like Google Docs works the best for me as far as to-do lists and it's like not as complicated. I just put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then I do bullet points under each one. My current read, I feel like it's only fitting that I read a fantasy romance because this is a fall night routine. So nothing says fall quite like a pumpkin drink and a fantasy book. So my current read is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Currently I am on page 102 and I'm loving it so far. I'm loving their banter, loving their chemistry, and I can't wait to read more and see what happens. Nobody told That's how you know it's a good fantasy book when they have the little maps in the front. You just know. It's gonna be good. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like so excited i just got some book mail this is air of broken fate by mads rafferty and she actually sent me this book herself and it came with a little note she said hey megan i hope you fall in love with the world of aloria i hope i'm saying that right along with delilah and knox i'm beyond excited for you to have air of broken fate on your bookshelf from mads rafferty thank you so much mads for sending me this i'm so excited perfect for the fall time some more fantasy romance to get into i think it's fantasy romance enemies to lovers but i'm so intrigued and i'm so interested to learn more and jump into this world i'm so excited this book has actually been on my radar and i've been meaning to read it so i'm so excited that I, now i have a physical copy and it will look beautifully on my bookshelf shall we put it on you know what while we're at it let's do a little reorganization for funsies i was gonna read assassin's blade but i don't think i'm gonna read that soon because i'm still reading powerless so i'm gonna put that back and up top i have my sarah j Matt shelf throne of glass series which i'm so excited to read these covers are just so gorgeous and i'm obsessed the akatar series which is i need to finish reading both of these series so we definitely want to do that soon belladonna and foxglove they look so pretty together i just think the artwork is just so gorgina so beautiful i'm obsessed Okay, so I'm reading The Naturals, and I just bought the next book in the series, so it should be coming, I think, tomorrow. But I want to put all them together, so I feel like I want to have, like, a fantasy kind of shelf and put all the fantasy books together. So I'm going to have Belladonna and Fox Club here, because they are so pretty. And then I have my Crescent City, the ones I got from the UK, and they are just beautiful and gorgeous. I love these covers. So these are, like, kind of all the hardcover books that I have, and I kind of wanted to put them together? I don't know. I feel like this cover is just 
it just doesn't vibe with the rest of the books if that makes sense so i kind of like this shelf i like all like the pretty light colors i do so i read addicted to you the physical copy i started reading kiss the sky but then i realized that there's a lot of spoilers in it and i thought like it was like callaway sisters was like a standalone like i thought you could read the callaway sisters series and it was like separate from addicted to you but it's not so if you thought the same thing it's not so you you definitely have to read the series in order and read like the two other books i think there's two other ones after addicted to you because it does have a lot of spoilers in kiss the sky so it's not like a the callaway sister series isn't like a separate series it's all connected it's just i think these two books just follow like the other sisters like they're the main character and you get their povs i need to order those two books and then read them before i jump back into kiss the sky and then i just bought hot house flowers so i'm so excited because i have a feeling that daisy and reich are gonna be my faves so then i feel like it'll look prettier when like the whole series is together so like all of the reddish books are kind of together Okay, I think it's fine for now, and then I'm gonna reorganize at some point when I get even more books. But for now, this is how it looks. Except for I have Killer Instinct out and then Powerless out, so they're not on this bookshelf, but that's because they're my current reads. So this is the final product for now. Work in progress. It's coming along nicely, I'd say. When I first got them, I was like, ooh, it's like cottage core, like aesthetic. And then when I actually got them, and like now that I'm really looking at her, I feel like it just clashes with the overall vibe of like the other decor if that makes sense but yeah i just can't stop looking at it and thinking grandma sheets so i cannot get that out of my head now so i ordered new bedding from target i'm just gonna get like plain white and then like add some new pillows and maybe a new throw blanket and just go for a different vibe but overall i love my room and it's so cozy and comfy and mostly everything is from amazon so i'll try to link everything in my storefront okay so i don't know if i gave a description for this book but i don't know if i mentioned it in my other but basically you have these elites who have powers and then you have the ordinaries who don't have powers and the elites are basically like killing off or exiling any of the ordinaries because like they're ordinaries so the main character payton she's an ordinary and she kind of labels herself as like a psychic and is like really good at like reading people so like she's pretending to be a psychic and have that power even though she's like an undercover ordinary so she doesn't have any actual powers but because of that she trains in like getting really good at fighting so her and kai who is the prince and he is an elite and he's actually like an enforcer i think it's called so i guess like in the future he's going to be one of the people who exiles or kills off the ordinaries even in the front cover it says hunted hunter destined for each other they have a great meet cute where like she's basically thieving around and then she steals from him and it's just really cute and i love their banter so far and their chemistry is really good i've already so i'm on page 105 now and i've tabbed a little bit i'm only using purple tabs because i feel like it's just fitting like i just read this line just now hayden has like a cut on her lip and then we get his pov which is another great thing that i love i love dual pov and he says and yet he failed to mention how he'd hit her perhaps i'll relieve him of one of his hands so he never has the opportunity to lay it on a woman again i love this man I am in love with this man. I'm literally kicking, screaming, giggling at their banter and their chemistry, and it's just so good so far. So they're both, Peyton and Kai are both kind of chosen to be in these trials, which is like kind of like Hunger Games-esque maybe. I don't actually really know what the trials are, but they're basically chosen to like fight each other. So it's kind of like enemies to lovers, but also like rivals to lovers, I guess, in a way, because they have to compete in these trials. All the like the chosen people for the trials are like brought together. Like I said, I'm on page 105, so I'm curious to see where the story's gonna go, but I'm already obsessed. And it's so nice because I feel like everyone who I've seen has read this book has been loving it and has been obsessed with it. So it makes me even more excited to continue it when I know that other people have like loved it so much. So I'm just so excited. I also love like in this book, you kind of like go right into what's going on like i don't feel like there's a lot of world building and personally for my brain i don't know if i'm just dumb but like whenever i'm reading a fantasy book i find it so hard to like get through it when like the world building is a lot or like the i don't know just like the writing style i guess but this one i feel like is so easy to understand and i feel like i'm envisioning it all and like i'm jumping right into it which i really appreciate also he's calling her darling i love when the main character has like a nickname for like 
the love interest or the love interest has a nickname for the main character it's just so cute and i eat it up every single time so for dinner these minute rice cups of brown rice and quinoa it's like a mix so i just heated that up to have with the meatloaf and the broccoli rub and <laughs> so it doesn't look appetizing but i promise you it tastes good like i added seasonings and stuff so promise it tastes good i'm just gonna eat dinner and watch some good more girls and that's the vibe for tonight nothing too crazy just an average tuesday night and we're just romanticizing the boring days and the, you know just the normal everyday things because i feel like i love watching vlogs where people are doing these crazy fun things but i also love even more watching people who are just like doing their daily things and just romanticizing like the mundane life so i hope that this is enjoyable for you and exciting for you even though i'm really not doing much i'm gonna eat dinner watch some tv and i'll check back in please you here more than i would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah should i hide away forever so for my skincare routine, I don't really have like a 10 step skincare routine. It's really only like maybe two or three steps. So today I'm gonna use the Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. And I just kind of put that on. I usually have cotton pads, but I ran out. So I'm just gonna use paper towel. And I just dab it on there. And then I go all over. And then I go in with the CeraVe PM Facial Lotion. And that's pretty much all I put on my face. I don't really do a lot to it. I'm just gonna go in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I also like to set out my clothes for the next day and just have everything out like my bag and my clothes for the next day because it just makes the mornings a little easier. And now with that said, I think I'm gonna end the night routine here. I'm probably gonna read for the rest of the night and then go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cozy fall night routine. Love you guys. Happy reading and I'll catch you next time. Bye.